Let's take a look at the new track versions functionality offered in Cubase 7.5. Track versions simplify the process of working with parallel or alternate tracks to come up with the best results. For this demonstration, I have patterns loaded up into GrooveAgent SE4 and the audio outputs from the instrument routed to the inputs of the channel. So we can generate multiple audio channels. Now, when working with track versions, we often make sense to work with folder tracks because they have the group editing functionality. So if I wanted to select all the tracks and place them into a folder, an easy way to do it is to select the top track, go to your bottom track, hold down the shift key, all the tracks will now be selected in the track list, right click and say move selected tracks to new folder. Once you do that, you'll see the group editing option, which can be enabled by clicking that icon or hitting the letter K on your computer keyboard. Let's go ahead and uh, record some audio. So we'll play this pattern and we'll go ahead and record 16 tracks for eight bars. And this could be any audio source, we're really just using the drum machine for demonstration purposes. So we'll have like a typical straight dance hall beat. Now, if I wanted to create a new track version or an alternate take, I can now come right here, go to my project menu to track versions, and then I could say new version. So the parts have disappeared from view, indicating that we don't see them, we don't hear them. And now we could just record a completely different take. So by contrast, this one has more of a triplet feel in the toms. Again, we record 16 tracks for eight bars. Another method for creating a new version is to go to the inspector tab for the track versions and then click on new version. Let's do a third variation. So now record the audio. So more of a swing feel for this one. Another method for coming up with track versions is just to use a simple keyboard shortcut on a Mac. It's Command Shift N. And if you forget what the keyboard shortcut is, just go to your project menu to track versions and you can actually see the keyboard shortcut just to the right of the function. So we'll go ahead and record this. So this one has more of kind of interesting open hi-hat. Now to switch between our different takes, all we have to do is come right here and listen to take one, take two, take three, or four. If I double click, we could label these. So say I'll call this straight. I'll call this triplet. Tom. Then swing. And open hat. Now if I wanted to listen to different tracks from different takes, I could bypass the group editing. And let's go to just my open hi-hat. So say if I'm on the straight and I wanted to hear the open hi-hat version of that track, you'll see that as you click on the name, a little drop down menu will appear here. Or if I wanted the swing kick drum,
I could also select tracks and from my project menu, go to my track versions and I could actually select tracks, assign a common version ID for the track so that those tracks can all be kind of the same. So I could call those up as a single entity. Now, if I enable my group editing, they'll all be changed to the same take. But let's say if I wanted to create more of a composite where I wanted to take some of version one, version two, version three, etc. What I could do now is create a duplicate. So I'm going to create a duplicate version of our first one. And we'll call this our comp. And what I want to do now is with the group editing enabled, I'm going to grab my range selection tool. Then I'll say, okay, I want versions measures three through three and four here. And what I want to do is go to my edit menu, select copy, go to my comp version, and then hit paste. And then let's say the next two bars, I want it from the swing. So now, again, I'll use the keyboard shortcuts for copy, go to my comp, paste, and let's go to the last two bars from the open hi-hat, copy, select the comp here, and paste. And now I could have different elements of each take. Then go into the swing. And then to the open hi-hat. So very, very easy to assemble and come up with some of the, you know, really great tricks for coming up with all the parts that have been recorded and to assemble it creatively. Now, many people in Cubase are used to working with our lanes. So if I wanted to come here, I could actually grab my lane concept here. And let's say um, I wanted to do a cycle recording, like how we used to doing it in Cubase for years and years. So what I want to do is just start, I'll play the groove agent pattern here. And we'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here so we can see this a little better. And I'll go ahead and record. Let's say I'll switch to pattern for this take. Now, if I stop recording, I could open up my lanes and use my comp tool to be able to select my different sections here. Now, once I've done that, I could also, now instead of being stuck in either track versions or lanes, if I go to my project menu, I can now just simply come right here and convert uh, my lanes to track versions. So now they'll all show up as track versions. And conversely, if I wanted to use my comp tool, I can now go to my track versions menu and create lanes from the versions as well. So you don't have to completely switch your recording paradigm. You could kind of get the benefits of either way. Now, the track versions aren't limited to just audio. So if I wanted to come here, let's say if I have a uh, project with MIDI and a chord track, I can come here and as I'm playing, I could have alternate MIDI tracks. Or if I wanted to have different chord tracks, so let's say instead of uh, D major, I want my chord track to be based in So this way I could, I'll just put this into a loop and as you play, or if I want to do maybe like an F sharp. And also I could have different tempo tracks. So do retard.
And I could also have different time signature tracks. So this way I could creatively try out different ideas very easily. So whether I want to create the best audio performance that's been captured with different takes, have creative aspects with my MIDI, my chord track, my tempo track, as well as my time signature track, I can now use this to come up with the best options to be able to quickly switch between ideas so we could realize our creativity. So as you can see, the track versions are an incredibly powerful aspect of working with your Cubase production.